In last class, we have demonstrated the measurement of thermal expansion coefficient of a metal rod. So, in laboratory, we have seen the setup for this experiment. Uh, so, today let me just uh, uh, let me just explain the working formula of this experiment as well as the procedures of the experiment we followed in the laboratory and how we should take we should note down the data from data how to plot the graph and from graph what information we will get that we will use for calculation of the uh, thermal expansion coefficient and then also I will discuss error analysis. Okay. So, measurement of thermal expansion coefficient So, theory of it is very simple that when the temperature of a specimen is increased, its dimensions are increased that is basically expansion. Okay. So, this expansion is proportional to initial dimension and temperature difference. So, if you increase the temperature then its dimension changes, dimension can be length, it can be uh, width, it can be thickness, it can be radius whatever. So, in all directions basically uh, it will expand. So, depending on shape of the specimen, the expansion in volume, area and length of it are known as the volume, area and linear expansion respectively. Right. So, for a metal rod whatever we will take in our laboratory, so its length is very very greater than radius. So, only linear expansion is appreciable. So, uh, there will be expansion in or direction also along the radius, but, uh, but since length is very very greater than radius. So, these are negligible we will neglect it. So, we will so here this uh, change of dimension along the length is the appreciable and that is why uh, taking this specimen in rod form whatever we will measure. So, that is the that is the linear expansion and so this linear expansion that is basically if original length is L 0 and at a particular temperature if it is L. Okay. So, for this temperature difference T minus T 0 for this temperature difference. So, this change of length or this expansion is is proportional to original length L 0 into temperature difference. So, that is the del L equal to proportionality constant alpha L 0 T. So, this alpha is nothing but the uh, thermal expansion coefficient it is not thermal now it is of course, thermal all, but it is a it is a linear it is a linear type not volume or area type. So, it is a linear expansion coefficient. So, our working formula is basically alpha equal to 1 by L 0 del L by del T. Okay. So, this is the working formula. Now, let us think let us think how to design an experiment to measure alpha. Right. So, when so if you think this way you you are doing yourself the arrangement and then how you will proceed. So, first look at the working formula 
and condition of it of its derivation. Working formula is not enough, you should know how, how it is derived because during derivation there are some conditions applied and in experiment you have to fulfill those conditions. This is very important. So, that is why uh, everybody should know the derivation of the working formula. So, you will know the condition of the derivation and uh, that conditions have to be satisfied in the experiment. Okay. So, so, what are the apparatus and components required for, 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 for designing this experiment or for this experiment. So, again looking at this working formula you can tell you can arrange the apparatus and components. So, L 0 tells that we need a rod of higher length compared to radius as per condition of derivation. Okay. So, if length is higher it would be better your error will be less. Okay. So, uh, so that's, that was the condition for derivation. So, this one has to we need a rod of a particular length L 0. Then T in derivation T is there. Uh, in working formula. So, T tells that T means temperature right we have to change the temperature of the sample of the specimen right. So, how to change the temperature? So, we need heater as well as we have to read the temperature at the specimen. Okay. So, we need thermometer. Okay. So, heater is nothing but so this we can take a coil. Okay and we will insert this rod into this coil. Okay. So, so, heater is basically is coil and we need power supply. Okay. So, from power supply we will send current to these coils. Okay. So, then there will be heat and due to heat there will be change of temperature of the, of the specimen inserted into this coil okay. and then we need thermometer as we have to we have to read we have to read the temperature at the at the at the specimen uh, region. So, we need thermometer thermometer here we will say we will take thermocouple different kinds of thermometers are, thermometers are there. So, thermocouple is one of the very common used thermometer. So, thermocouple, so basically two dissimilar metals have a junction. So, the junction have to be placed near the sample, near the sample and then there will be thermo EMF voltage. So, that we have to read this voltage. So, we need voltmeter and basically then this should be calibrated voltage versus temperature they should be calibrated. So, this uh, so these are from basic one can think this way, but things are available with uh, um, commercially. So, uh, you have to collect this these things this thermo thermocouple thermometer. So, this that thermocouple based thermometer. Uh, so, if you if you uh, buy commercially, so this that arrangement this thermocouple which is which will be placed to the sample place and the uh, uh, we have to. So, there will be uh, uh, voltmeter uh, is which is calibrated with the uh, with the temperature. So, basically you will not read the voltage, but directly you will read the uh, temperature because uh, that is that is why this uh, as a whole this set of for measuring temperature is the this this unit plus this another uh, we tell 
generally it's yeah um, it is a basically uh, as a whole we can tell thermometer. So, it is a two components one is this thermocouple and another is this meter. Okay. So, this meter will give you the reading. So, how it is giving the reading to understand that one. So, what are the components uh, is there. So, how company made that one. So, that uh, we should know better than even yeah, any other people. So, this is the this the this we need temperature measurement arrangement and heating arrangement. Okay. So, this details that we need heater and thermometer. So, then uh, basically heater let me tell slightly more about this uh, temperature measurement and uh, and this uh, uh, heater power heater. So, we have heater so and then power supply we are giving power to the heater and then temperature is change at the sample place ok. That temperature is is uh, is uh, we are reading this temperature from uh, using the thermocouple thermometer ok and uh, so this power heater and this temperature related. If you increase the power, so temperature will increase. The relation is not is not proportional. Initially may be proportional, then it is it 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 may be nonlinear, okay, but they have relation. Okay. So, uh, so controlling the heater power one can control temperature it is possible to control automatic control. So, for automatic control of power to set a particular temperature we need a controller. Okay. So, manually you can you can you can control, but instead of manual control. So, automatic control is possible. So, for that uh, so that we tell this a controller and this controller generally is uh, in market uh, commercially available that is uh, called PID controller. Okay. So, because this controller have some arrangement, what is the arrangement it should have? So, say if I set a temperature I want to get 200 degree centigrade. So, this is a set temperature T s and thermocouple temperature at the beginning say it is it is 30 degree centigrade it is a 200 degree centigrade T s and this initial beginning temperature or temperature thermocouple temperature basically that is the we are telling this T c. Okay. So, this controller P i d controller will read T s whatever we have set and this then T c from thermocouple it will take it will read this T c. Then it will calculate it is a basically controller it can calculate. So, electronic circuits are there. Okay. So, it will calculate difference between this T s and T c then increase power proportionate proportional proportionately to the difference of this temperature. Initially it will increase uh, power which is proportional to the difference of temperature because initially there will be big temperature difference. So, it increase proportionally. So, this that is this proportional P i d P that proportional that that is coming and then when T c this thermocouple temperature all the time it is reading all the time uh, this controller is reading the, the T c and taking difference and changing the power okay, changing the power. So, this is when this T c close to T s and it is T s plus minus del T, del T is very small, then it will use basically it will it will it will use integral and derivative 
respectively to reach T s. So, I am not telling details. So, this is the electronic circuit, electronic circuit you can use for integration, derivation, difference, addition, calculator right. It can do it. So, then when it is closed, so it use integration and derivative method to reach the temperature T s. So, this that is why it is the it is called P i d controller P i d controller. So, we will use we will use this PID controller. So, then you can just set temperature and then automatically uh, it will change the it will change the temperature and reach to the uh, set temperature within uh, within few minutes probably it depends on the on the uh, power of the controller and range of the temperature. Okay. So, so then for 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 so, from working formula for L 0 we need metal rod, then for T we need heater, we need thermocouple, thermometer, we need some controller P i d controller. Okay. So, now in laboratory you have seen all this just we have used a, a single box type, uh, uh, box type uh, uh, instrument. So, in that instrument all are uh, all all these things put there. So, power to the heater. So, power is there okay. and then uh, just uh, yeah. So, uh, this this unit this unit as a whole this unit basically uh, it is connected to the uh, connected to the heater as well as they are <coughs> uh, for thermocouple this arrangement also there and also this controller also there. So, as a whole this one unit have all these things for for uh, changing the temperature of the specimen. So, all arrangement uh, is is integrated in a single unit. So, this uh, uh, so commercially it is available uh, or you have to tell company. So, I need this kind of uh, this kind of uh, function. So, they will they will they will build for you and give you. Okay. So, you do not need to do everything, but you should know what you want and you should know where you can get. Okay. So, you need to contact uh, to proper uh, company and they can do your uh, they can do uh, customer designed um, power supply or controller or whatever. So, so, then next another parameter is there in working formula that is del L that is del L. So, del L tells that we need so this expansion and we need uh, to measure this expansion we need a micrometer since this expansion is in uh, is in uh, micrometer range. So, then we tell this we need it's a micrometer which will read which will read the uh, read, read the expansion in the in the range of uh, micrometer. Okay. So, uh, this so this also commercial be available only you have to collect it uh, uh, this micrometer also it has different range. So, you have to collect proper uh, proper range of the micro micrometer. So, now all this apparatus components you need and then you have to assemble them. So, they that will be the your experimental setup. So, I have a rod this is the rod okay. expansion of this rod I want to measure. So, this vertically put on a platform okay. and then there is a this coil okay, around this uh, around this rod and uh, and then thermocouple one end of the thermocouple have to be there okay. so because this I am showing because in laboratory you have seen this we cannot see this rod and this uh, thermocouple this this part we cannot see because it is sealed it is sealed in thermal insulator it is sealed in a thermal insulator. So, that is how we cannot see, but inside what is there? So, nothing but this this arrangement is there. Okay. 
and then this uh, thermocouple and this heater that is that is connected to the this uh, this uh, that one unit where basically this power temperature and PID this all are integrated. Okay. So, we have to connect there. So, this will control the temperature of this of this place and tell me the temperature also. Okay. And now, uh, we have put we have put uh, micrometer on top of this rod, but not directly because this uh, this is the hot one and it is inside the coil. So, we use another rod it is a say made is made of quartz glass type basically because it is it can bear uh, high, high temperature. Okay. So, a piece of glass rod of same similar dimension will be taken and just put between on top of this. So, when it will expand, so uh, this is the base, so it cannot, uh, so other end is free. So, expand it will go up, then this quartz rod also go up and it will push this screw uh, of this of this micrometer, when it is put this screw, so this uh, this um, uh, there will be change here and you can you can see the reading and that reading we have to note down basically okay so this is the experimental setup and you have seen this setup in our laboratory okay so uh, then you start taking data so in laboratory in our laboratory so there's uh, this rod again it is inside we cannot take out. So, this is L 0 is 5 centimeter in our laboratory it is a given it is a taking higher length is better, but it is a taking too high it is difficult to get the uniform temperature around the rod you know. So, one have to be optimized okay. and least count of the micrometer you have to note down 2 micrometer in our case least count of the thermometer you have to note down because this for other experiment I have described all these things. So, I will not uh, tell you in detail just I am showing. So, least count of thermometer is uh, 0 0.1 degree centigrade. Now, this just two, two table we will we'll make one is the both are temperature versus expansion, but one is during heating and another is during cooling. Okay. So, from the room temperature is a 25 degree centigrade micrometer reading note down this is a say in our case it was 65 micrometer. Then I will change the temperature. So, uh, what we do we set the temperature say 200 degree centigrade and then it is a temperature is increased it takes time. So, at every 5 degree difference I will note down the I will note up the micrometer reading. Okay. Then del L will be basically just you have to subtract this 65 from all data and then corresponding uh, this delta L expansion for 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 uh, uh, for this uh, at different temperature you will get uh, you will get so that that is basically delta L during uh, heating and this is the delta L during cooling. Okay. Now, uh, from this working formula, uh, you can see this uh, alpha equal to 1 by L 0 del L by T. So, I can plot, I can plot graph versus del L versus T and then from the graph the slope will give you this del L by T. So, I will find out the slope. Okay. So, uh, so, let us plot graph, you will so in same graph we can plot on uh, this during heating and this the during cooling or you can use separate graph okay. and then you just take find out the slope of this two graph find out the slope of this two graph uh, and then take average of this two slope take average of this two slope mean slope find out the mean slope and then calculate alpha L 0 is 5 centimeter slope you got from this graph and then you will get the Result, okay. And then error calculation is very simple. Uh, so, this is basically del alpha by alpha equal to del of delta L by delta L uh, now delta of del L by del L 
okay. plus this the one error this we are measuring and this measuring this temperature. So, uh, delta T by T okay. delta T is 0 0.1 del L uh, del uh, delta of del L that is uh, basically um, 2 2 micrometer 2 okay. uh, so and del L so here uh, you can just take one point you will get some this temperature for that temperature what is the del L you will find out for a particular um, temperature and corresponding del L you can take for calculating the uh, error. So, just put value of del L and T from this one point of on the graph and you calculate del alpha. Okay. So, then how to write result that I discussed many times. So, just you will find the result and then you should discuss there will be discussion and there will be precaution of the experiment. Okay. So, uh, all those things I, uh, I have discussed I will discuss more in, in for other experiment also. So, this is a very simple experiment. So, today mainly I try to tell you just you are going to the laboratory and uh, blindly you are doing experiment that you should not do. You can think yourself okay, if you know the derivation of the working formula, if you know the experiment then you know the experimental condition, okay, what condition we need for experiment then you can think yourself what are the apparatus uh, I need to measure those parameters uh, uh, those parameters uh, which are in working formula. Okay. So, you have to collect one one after another and then you have to assemble and then you proceed. So, this way you just should think and when you will go to laboratory uh, uh, for doing experiment. So, so you search in the set of where, where those things are you should ask your teacher or your uh, this lab technician okay, where are those things. So, you are measuring the thermal expansion of a rod, but you do not know where is the rod everything is ready just you are just rotating the knob and taking data. So, that is not good. First, you should search where is the rod, then I have to measure temperature. This so, so there must be thermometer. Okay. So, for thermometer, what is the arrangement there? Then, okay, so uh, to change the temperature, you need some heater, heater kind of things or some arrangement. Here we are using heater, heater can be in different form, etcetera. So, uh, so if you initially prepared, okay, so means if you think how to how to design the experiment, so then you will not right now you will not design, but uh, you are going to perform the experiment. So when you will go to lab, you first just try to find out where are those things, whatever you thought or you can find out you can think alternative way to do it. Okay. So, um, what can be other alternative for, for measuring temperature for, for heating the sample okay, for measuring the expansion. Okay. So, other alternative also you can so those things you can write in discussion. Okay. So, discussion just uh, generally student just write few point, common points but it is not uh, discussion is not for that purpose you know is the it has you can you can you can be this is the place where you can put your own thought okay so how to improve the experiment uh, what can be the alternative way what problem you face during the uh, during the experiment also in precaution you can uh, tell different okay where one has to be uh, causes okay so that you can uh, you can mention okay. so if you if you proceed the go this way if you well prepared and go to the left then only you will enjoy enjoy the experiment okay 
So, let me stop here. Thank you for your attention.